Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we are here with a new episode of All About today. Today we are learning about the sexy shrimp. These guys are so, so fun to watch and they're super cheap too. Prices on them, you'll spend about 10 bucks on them. Tank size, doesn't matter. Care level, super easy. Temper, they are very, very peaceful. Too peaceful of a little shrimp. Reef compatible, yes, they are reef compatible. As you can see in the video, they are hopping around in an anemone. Temperature, I'd keep it 72 to 78. DKH, 8 to 12. pH, 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity, 1.023 to 1.025. Make sure that salinity stays spot on. You don't want big salinity changes. It will hurt them. Diet, they are a carnivore. Anything that you feed your normal fish, that's what they're going to eat. Flakes, pellets, brine shrimp, frozen little cubes, anything like that. They'll come and get it. They are scavengers. Max size is just an inch. They stay super, super small. Colors, you can get some that are pink and white. Some are red and white compatibility you know just ask i would definitely get multiples of them i mean they're only 10 bucks and they seem to do a lot better when there's a whole bunch of them in a tank together origin they do come from indonesia one major major thing to watch out about these guys is to acclimate them slow very very slow just think how big these guys lungs are they are tiny and if you just dump them in they're going to suck out that salinity that might not be the same as what you got from the fish store and it could kill them instantly so real slow drip on them and they'll be fine you need good supplements in the water like iodine and calcium for a healthy molting they do like to molt a lot so watch out uh, if you don't understand how to get good supplements it's basically just the levels in your water and the only way to bring them back up is with chemicals uh, normally I recommend Brightwell Aquatics their line is awesome it's what I've always used for like calcium We'll use the reef code A and reef code B. And then for iodine, I think they have a kind called iodion. That one's really good. It keeps everything right on level. Make sure no copper dosing's going on. And of course, like I said, no big salinity changes. So watch out for predatory fish. A lot of times you'll see fish online and in the description, it'll be like they will eat ornamental shrimp. This is an ornamental shrimp, a little bitty baby shrimp. This is what they are, and fish will chase them down. Getting that anemone and getting them to bind in it will help them stay safe and be comfortable, and they won't ever leave that. And it looks really cool. It's a really cool symbolic relationship. So that's it for your little sexy shrimp. The way they do that little waving, they shake their little abdomen, and that thing just waves around. Not really a reason to it, it's just what they do. Hope you all have a good day, and I will see you all later. Make sure to like and subscribe, check out my other videos, and just have a good weekend. We just hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you all so much. I love you all. I can't thank you all enough from that. All started out with me just working in the fish store with an idea to let everyone know how to take care of some fish. And here we are, a thousand deep, and it feels great. So to celebrate... For the whole month of June, every single day, I'm going to put out a new episode of All About, about some kind of fish, some kind of crustacean, maybe different things on how to take care of stuff. But just either way, every single day, you're going to be getting a video from me, and it's going to be awesome, maybe even more videos. So here we go. Stay tuned. Here comes celebrating a 1,000 subscribers.